Prince Harry said he predicted that uprising in Washington during the US presidential election because of the level of abuse seen on social media. Speaking to a tech conference in the US, he said he'd been in contact with the boss of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, just before the Capitol riots. Here's Mark LaBelle. My Twitter, my notifications have blown up. Uh, Harry haters have... You know, In his latest salvo against hate on social media, the former army captain, now misinformation warrior, joined a 33-minute live session for Wired's Rewired Tech Conference entitled The Internet Lie Machine, where it emerged referring to these angry riots at the US Capitol on January 6th. He's also, it seems, somewhat of a soothsayer. Have you, have you ever had a chance to present your case to the leaders of these companies, Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Dorsey? No, not, not, not directly, not personally. Um, uh, Jack and I were, were, were emailing each other prior to January the 6th, where I, I warned him that his platform was allowing a coup to be staged. Uh, that email was sent the day before, and then it happened, and I haven't heard from him since. In March, Twitter's chief executive, Jack Dorsey, conceded during congressional testimony that yes, his platform had played a role in the storming of the US Capitol, but added it's not just about the technological systems that we use. Prince Harry warned a small group of accounts is causing a large amount of chaos online, sullying the internet for future generations by filling it with hate, division and lies. Misinformation is a global humanitarian crisis. Um, as you quite rightly pointed out, I felt it personally over the years, um, and I'm now watching it happen globally, affecting everyone, not just America, literally everyone around the world. And the, I guess the scariest part about it is you don't need to be online to be affected by this. Leading to this personal swipe on somewhat well-trodden ground for Harry at sections of the UK press. They've successfully turned fact-based news into opinion-based gossip with devastating consequences uh, for the country. Asked for his solution to the problem, he's not recommending everyone takes leave from social media, as he and Meghan have done, conceding it's far too addictive for that. But instead, he says, it's for big companies and advertisers to kick out the troublesome few whose hate and lies are then spread far and wide. Mark Lobel, BBC News.